Here is my January update. There was so much going on throughout the new year. Um, let's see, car accident. Um, we found a dog and we kept him. His name is now Rody, and I'm sure I will do a whole post about that. But basically, my life has changed a lot in 2011, and there's been a lot going on. But I am going to give you an update on how 2011 has been so far because I feel like it's just too much to write. Okay, so in January, we have a new car and a new dog, but we have also gotten a lot done with our wedding plans. I got my bridesmaid dresses in, um, working on getting those to each girl, but so far they love them. Um, got the bridesmaid shoes and got those handed out as well. Um, my biggest thing I want to book right now is a DJ. We met with one DJ and we were going to meet with another one, but then we decided he wasn't going to be the DJ for us. Um, so we're, I actually am in love with this DJ. I love that they have amazing lighting for our venue. Um, I watched some videos and he seems to be pretty good. And we met the couple, they're super nice. But Mr. Hess, he, um, he has this problem. He wants to meet with about five to six people per category of a vendor for us, which is awesome, but I don't think he's looked at our schedules because literally the only time we have to meet anybody is on Thursdays after four or any day I randomly have to be off of work of my day job if he's available and throw my mom into that mix. and. It's just not going to happen. So there's very select few days that we can actually get some things done. Um, so what's happened so far and what Mr. Hess will say is that I want to book right away when I meet somebody. But that's not true. I find someone I love. I meet at least two or three people from each category. And then I pick what I want. And it all happens to work out. So that's my take on that. Now, I wanted to show you... Um, my big project for February, big, huge, has to be done in February, has to at least be narrowed down to two different people for this category is catering. Okay, so I know I mentioned our reception is going to be at Heaven Event Center, which it is. It's a completely clean slate. I know I've run that, wrote that a million times on the blog. Um, basically, it's a white room, drapes all around it in white. There's a floor and there's a ceiling. And that's basically all there is. So that means two things. One is that we can be completely creative. We can bring in our own tables and chairs, our own DJ, our own catering, our own this, our own that, our own decor, um, which is awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. Now the second part is this also causes a lot more stress and a lot more to-dos on our to-do list. So I'm starting to feel the stress of all of this, actually, to be honest with you. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit stressed. So anyways, back to my project in February, it's catering. And I've had, luckily, I've had the last two days off of work. So I got a lot done. Um, I narrowed it down to five catering companies that we're going to meet with. I called each one, looked at their websites, talked to each one of them, and scheduled consults for all of them. I wanted to show you my handy dandy um, calendar that I keep on the fridge, but I moved it over here to show you. Um, and some people will make fun of me for this because they know me in college and in high school where I would <laughs> avidly take notes during class and highlight in different colors and whatever color that is highlighted in means something specifically and that's kind of what I did with this whole wedding thing and it's okay I'm just gonna roll with it and here it is let's see this is my calendar um, it's probably too far away to really see what's going on but basically each month I have a little to-do list down here that I put on conveniently on the fridge so that Mr. Hess can see exactly what I'm thinking and for February we have book catering number one priority for sure because if we have this beautiful wedding and no food it's gonna be pretty late <laughs> so number one we really need to get this catering thing done so 
Um, book DJ, we have, like I said before, I'm ready to book a DJ. And if Mr. Hess does not get some appointments and book with, I don't know, consult with at least two more people in the next two weeks, I gave them by Valentine's Day as a deadline, I'm booking the one I like. Um, invitations, I actually met with somebody today, about an hour ago, about invitations, and she seems really cool, really nice, they're all handmade, and it's a decent price, so hopefully that works out, and that'll be done. I'm not all about mating for five people for that. I think if I find something I like, and it's in our price range, go for it. Um, let's see, we have linens, and tables, and chairs. Those might go together, depending on... Oh, our venue. Um, I haven't done tables and chairs yet because I was waiting to see what our contact would say with the entire package that we were looking at last week. I know I did a post about it. Um, all the decor, basically. They also do tables and chairs, but they happen to be mm, six times the price of what we were quoted before through a different vendor. So we're going back to that original vendor for sure. And we're hopefully going to book tables and chairs with them. Um, which brings me to linens. I'm in love with these linens I found from a linen company, but I'm just not sure if they're in the budget right now. I'm hoping because they are really pretty and they go with our colors and they kind of make our theme come to life. And anybody I've talked to knows what that is, but um, I guess I'll reveal some more colors down the road. But for now, that's all I can tell you. Um, let's say update website. I notice I have not given our website on this blog and I probably won't just because it's a lot of personal information that I don't necessarily want the entire public to know about. Um, but I can give you a preview one of these days. Um, it's about 90% done and the story on the website is why it's taken so long is because Mr. Hess thinks it's funny. Um, I asked him to write his bio for like the little paragraph about the bride and groom bio and all of a sudden I look at the page and it is this big. The computer screen literally if the computer was this big it was this big of the entire page talking about where he came from in the circus. Not true. He was raised by a group of apes. Not true. Um, let's see what else. We have the same initials, so it talked about shaving those initials in foreheads. I mean, really, basically, the story was crazy, and it's not approved to go on the wedding website. So, I mean, that was his idea of working on the wedding website, and honestly, just kind of put me behind. So, um, we're going to take that off. But um, good news is our save the dates should be here tomorrow, literally tomorrow, like February 3rd tomorrow. Um, that means as soon as our stamps get in, they're going to be sent out and done. I'm so sick of hearing about the save the dates. I'm so sick of waiting for them. But I'm really excited to see what they look like. I know the proof turned out awesome. So those will be done. I think that's my updates for now. But I guess I never got to the highlighted part, which is why I brought this obnoxious calendar out. Um, let's see. This is my schedule. Um, it's not really on here, but I also have a day job. Not on here, five days a week. But what is on here, um, this is my night job. All of those little green highlights mean money. So that's my um, green highlight there. Everything in orange is... A meeting for the wedding and as you can see like I said before Thursdays are literally the only day Mr. Hess me and my mom can meet for something so every single Thursday I have in February is going to a catering meeting so hopefully hopefully by the end of February we'll have an idea of this whole catering thing and we'll get it done other than that we need to get our invitations picked out and sent out um, well, they're saying four to six weeks before the wedding, so that kind of calmed me down. But in order for that to happen, we need to decide on a company and get those designed and done by the end of February. So I'm starting to feel pressure, to be honest. I'm really starting to feel pressure, but I think we'll be okay. And that's my obnoxiously long 10-minute January update. There's more to come, but this is definitely the easiest way. And side note, I finally figured out how to 
do video on my MacBook, which apparently is not that easy to figure out. Um, it took me an entire day to figure this out, but I did it. So here we are. You'll see lots of these updates to come. Thanks for listening.